speaking of fun things, if you need uh, something to eat, I want you to swing by Classic City Eats, try this mojo pork, try the uh, mac and cheese, try their uh, coleslaw. Still, Classic City Eats, uh, they still do the chicken the same way. That's so, delicious. So when you show up, you're like, hey, I want chicken. They're going to cook it then. It's not under a heat lamp back there. So uh, while you're waiting, have some of the fantastic beers they have here. What's going on with the recruiting? Is it time to freak out? The timing issue is something that all of us have had to deal with without the camps, without the in-person uh, visits here on campus, unofficial or official. And, uh, you know, we haven't really done as well on the out-of-state players. We've had a great year in-state. We've lost a couple that, you know, we'd like to add too. But uh, so I would say my answer is I'm pretty much – open-minded just because of the of the uh, dynamics of the situation. Uh, I just think we're gonna have a massive amount of decommits once things open back up because kids right now, it's just like anybody, you know, guys that need unemployment checks, they're gonna grab them. You've got twofold going on. Georgia's depth is working against them and the opportunity at Ohio State and Alabama to get to the national championship feels a little clearer, I think. Uh, you know, I said a win against Bama in week three or whenever it happens to be now uh, would go a long way, I think, to, to getting some kids, you know, starting to rethink about that. I want to play now. I want to get my, I need to get my film. I need to be able to show it to the uh, NFL. And <laughs> I, that, I mean, I got to stay healthy, get my film and get out. Yeah. We're not as in bad shape enough to go freak out, but we are in a situation where we need to be concerned. I would be more concerned if James Williams would have been from Georgia in this case, and Ed Reed came up here to get him from Georgia. I mean, the fact is in South Florida, if Ed Reed is telling you, hey, come here, come work with me, man, I don't know if there's a single player in the last 15 years that was a former NFL guy that those words would hold more weight than Ed Reed in South Florida right now. I hope that everybody wants to just get after my ass about this because <laughs> I've got a plenty of ass left, but I really <laughs> feel good about the fact that we got, uh, we still got some 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 bread out there to put on the table and we'll come through. And we talked about, um, we talked a little bit about James Williams. Obviously that was a surprise last week. What wasn't a surprise if you watched the show was the commitment of C.J. Washington in the 2022 class. Is Cedric or C.J.? Well, he goes by both. He okay. uses both. Now, he's in our database as Cedric, that, but okay. he goes by C.J. Too, as well. But Washington, quick... doesn't count, Washington doesn't count on our recruiting, though, because that's not this year. Ha, ha, ha. Coach, if UGA versus Bama is the opener for the dogs, how do you like Georgia's secondary against Bama's wide receivers? I think it's a good matchup for us. Uh, because of the quarterback situation. Uh, you just don't know. Mac Jones is a, is a good player. We don't know if it'll be him or the young guy uh, from California. Uh, what's his first name? Uh, the quarterback. Is it Bryce uh, Young? Bryce Young, yeah. 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 So uh, I think that's going to be heavily involved. They've got a really good offensive line, so our pressure package is going to be important. You just can't cover these guys all day. Is there an O-lineman that you feel might surprise and steal a little unexpected playing time, especially with a new coach at that position in Matt Luke? You no, know, I mentioned last week, I think we got to really get some quality time out of Erickson just because he got some, you know, a lot of good work here the last couple of years in practice going against the number one unit and all that. But I would say uh, the, the real question mark for me is which one of these guys between Truss and McClendon are going to be the ones to, to really make a move because you got Ratlich and Jones, you know, pushing there to see. So you, you essentially got four freshmen, two redshirt freshmen and two true freshmen to see which one of them can, you know, make make the move there. You know, we don't talk about Clay Webb, the five-star. True. You know. He's a center. He's playing center. Which is funny because – A tough road to hoe there. Yeah. But so you know, you got, got him and – Van Brand, uh, all through that's three pretty dang good centers there. Mm -hmm. Boy, and Van Pran looks like a million bucks. I don't know if you've seen the videos of him training in this offseason, but he has really, really reshaped his body in a good way. Are there any concerns about signals being heard from the other sideline if it's an empty cavernous stadium? Now you're not going to hear anything except maybe Kirby yelling out there, play cover <laughs> two, switch to cover one. 
Who's in the alley? This is why we have Coach on the show. He brings up stuff we have we never even thought of. Yes. Plus, that's the only reason you, any of you watch. So. 